Good evening. Thank you very much to the APA CPH Organising Committee, uh, the Faculty of Medicine at Colombo Sri Lankan Medical Association. Thank you for the invitation to present this work. Deborah Hilton from Melbourne, Australia. Title is COVID-19 Coronavirus Pandemic and Compliance with Mask Wearing in Victoria, Australia. This is my website, Deborah Hilton Statistics Online, and I also have a ResearchGate profile as well. Introduction. A manuscript by Jefferson and colleagues examined the effectiveness of eye protection, face masks and other measures, person distancing, on interrupting or reducing the spread of respiratory viruses. The conclusions recommended the use of masks combined with other measures. The Victorian government, as a result of increasing incidence of COVID-19, ruled that from Wednesday, July 22nd at 11.59 p.m. AEST, wearing a mask or face covering while in public was mandatory for Melbourne residents with a $200 penalty for people not complying. Methodology, beginning July the 23rd for the next week, the author myself observed the number of people wearing masks as they entered a Woolworths grocery store in Ashwood, taking observations for approximately 15 minutes per day. Children under 12 were excluded as they are not required to wear a mask. If possible, I also observed the mask type and I recorded that as either surgical non-woven fabric mask, respirator mask, P2, N95, P95, handmade fabric, fabric most likely purchased, which was mostly black, other, which included scarf, napkin, socks, bits of fabric, or indeterminate, I was too far away to tell. Well, I took care not to double count persons, it's possible that some error occurred as some people may have entered the same store more than twice, more than once, so there may be some double counting. Results, 497 out of 500 people were wearing masks. Three out of 500 people observed were not wearing a mask. Two of those people were males, most likely in the age group 20 to 29. The other person, it was difficult to estimate the age, but maybe they were young teen and just very tall. The types of masks worn included surgical masks, 69.6%, respirator, 1.8%, handmade, 8.8%, sock, napkin, scarf, 4.8%, other purchase, mostly black, 12.8% and unable to determine was 2.2%. And here's a chart below, which um, shows that breakdown of percentages. Conclusion, compliance with mask wearing was excellent, almost 100% with surgical masks most commonly were worn, just over two thirds. Um, I'd like to acknowledge Unsplash for the photographs and thank you to Visuals for the image of the four faces, Mika Bumester for the surgical mask photograph, Jonathan Castellon for the respirator photograph, Iwana Barron for the scarf mask photograph, Kazuki Ken for the black fabric mask photograph. Thank you to Emma Hilton, my daughter, for the photograph for uh, photographs to have her own handmade face masks and references available upon request or these may be found on Res ResearchGate if you search the author's name and manuscript title. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Goodbye.